My name is Suhas Pandey. I am teaching as a computer teacher and HOD computer science in a reputed organization from last 20 years. I want to share my knowledge with you through my YouTube channel Learn Computer from Suhas. This is my first series of educational videos on Python. Introduction of Python. Points to be discussed in this video. First, introduction of Python. Features of Python. And hundreds of Python. Now, we will start with the definition of Python. What is Python? Python is a dynamic open source programming language to focus on simplicity and productivity. It has an elegant syntax that is natural to read and easy to write. Now try to understand the definition. What is the meaning of dynamic? Dynamic means that we can declare a data type. In different languages, we have to declare data types in different languages like C, C++. But in Python, its data type is not required to be declared. It is dynamic. So as per the as per the value is stored in it, the dynamically the variable data type is declared. So we don't have to we very we don't have to declare the data type because in C C the data type declaration is must and, uh, and uh, for the beginner understanding the data types and how to declare it and how to use it and different types of things that becomes very very difficult. Now understand with this with an example. Suppose x is a variable. Now if I am storing x is equal to 10 then its variable data type x variable data type is declared as integer. Next time if I am declaring storing 10.5 then x will become 4 and if and story it's a string ABC, then it becomes string data type. So variable declaration is very easy in uh, Python. It is open source. Open source means that the source code is available free of course you can use it or you can learn the language you can modify the language you can add something you can redistribute it. It is very very simple language. So, the, for the beginners, this language is the very simple. You can write or you can teach to write the programs with no, no previous knowledge. So the students who don't have the previous knowledge. But still, this productivity is hard. Its syntax is very, very elegant natural to be done, easy to write. We will learn this in a further process of how easy to write a Python program compared to other languages, popular languages like C, C++, Java, etc. Python can do text handling, system administration, GUI based programming, web application, database apps, scientific applications and things. Now, test handling is the most easiest part of the Python language. In other languages, it is very difficult to manipulate the text. It has a rich set of methods or functions through which you can define, you can uh, manipulate the text very easily. You can extract some part of the text, uh, some part of text from a string. You can capitalize it, you can search it, you can sort it. So there are uh, different types of functions and these functions are very easy to use. This programming language is also used for system administration related work. That is those uh, programs which is used for handling the computer system like operating system and different types of network related, driver related programs. This is a graphical user interface. It is used for graphical user interface programming language. 
So graphical user interface is the most uh, important thing to that makes the, your application more popular because the general the persons can use that UI based application comparatively very easier compared to compared to the other uh, based, uh, other CI based applications. Graphical user interface contains the different types of icons, menu, sub menu and other related things which makes the application user friendly. We will also use for web applications and this very very popular language for our web applications. About 60 to 70 percent of web applications there is a use of Python language. It can it is also used for database apps. So uh, combining the database or uh, interconnecting the database with Python it is very easy to interconnect. Compared to other languages with the connectivity between the database and the language, it has a lot of complicated syntax. Here it has only one syntax that and it, you have to import the database. Library. It is also used for scientific applications. So writing the scientific expressions or uh, mathematical expressions using Python is completely easier than other languages. It is also very popular for game related applications. Now, creator of Python. Python was developed by Guido Van Rosam in 1991. It is a combination of two languages, ABC language and modular language. Now, what is ABC language is a uh, basic language, a modified form of basic language. So, basic language is the easiest language and this language, we were using this language to teach the very junior classes like this, that is the um, three, four, five, six, seven students to learn the basic of programming language, how to use the programming language. So it, its purpose is to teach the beginners to learn the logic and, and how to use the variables and other things for the right simple program. That word syntax is same as the basic language. Modular language is the first language of object oriented programming. Object oriented programming is a approach to make the programming world closer to the real world uh, as the real world functions to the class and objects so in the um, object oriented programming the same concept is used so it makes the programming writing comparatively more easy and effective it also provides that uh, reusability of the uh, program through so inheritance now you can uh, using you know, for object oriented programming you can use the uh, one previously class defined class to another class just modif with some modifications of the new program. So it, it is the best way to write program because it provides the facility of code reusability, polygon with inheritance and other. It was named after famous comedy circus, Monty Monty Python's Flying Circus. That time uh, this is the source, the circus, which Van which, um, Rosen features of Python. So it's very easy to learn, as I told you. The programming writing is very, very easy. So, in this uh, video, at the end, I will show you how easy to write a Python program compared to the C++. It is an exclusive language. Now, what is the meaning of exclusive language? It means a single line of Python language can do more work than multiple lines of other languages. So, you have to write more statements to do the same work in other languages. So, it's a exclusive language. So, little number of statements you can do more work. Free and open source. It is a free, free available, free available. Now, what is the meaning of extensible? Python is easily extensible in C and C language, which is used to glue together large software components. So, you can use a C and C thing there, and some uh, part of for uh, hardware related programs, C and C is completely better language than other languages, and it is C and C is more fast, execution speed is fast compared to. So, you can use it. So, it is an 
question today. Not possible. What is the meaning of possible? Possible means that programs written in Python can be used in, in any platform, can be used in other platforms also. Suppose I have written a program in Windows or application in Windows platform, then I can use that to other platform in the Mac operating system or Unix and Android. So it is a high level programming, obviously it is a high level programming. Uh, high level programming provides comparatively uh, easy to writing program than the object oriented. It has the facilities of object oriented as I have told you in that case. All that is object oriented language. Interpreted. Python is interpreted language. That means uh, it uh, compiles the program line by line and as the if there is any error in any of the statements, the same can be corrected and then you can proceed. So that becomes that makes the um, error finding easier compared to the compiler uh, type of program like C C plus plus. So all the errors will come at a time and you have to find it for the error piece. So it is pretty bit difficult compared to embeddable language. Embeddable, what is the meaning of embeddability? Now embeddable means that you can use the rules of others language to the host language. So Python can use in a Python you can use the statements of ASQL, C, C plus plus. It is a GUI based programming language, graphical user interface program. It has a large standard library. So it's a so rich library that you can do any type of thing using this Python. It is a dynamic type. So then you uh, in the uh, starting I discussed it that what is the dynamic typing. That means uh, at the time of the storage, you can uh, the type of that variable is declared and it can be changed as for the variable change. Now an example program to compare the simplicity and less statement used in Python compared to C++. So the example program is to interchange two numbers in Python. I, have to, I can write this program in four statements. First, to store the values of variable A, I change them to 5. Then, there is a very uh, easy uh, statement that is A, B is equal to B, means that is uh, interchange the values A to B and B to C. And then, change the statement. Now, if I am writing that program in C, it has at least 12 uh, statements are there. First, include the header part. Now we have to learn what is header files, how to include the header files. We have to learn what are the header files required to for that particular program. Then void mean, then there is a uh, complicated brackets are there. Uh, sometimes if the brackets are missing, then it creates lot of error. Then we have to declare the variable, then store the variables, then there is a mechanism of interchange. C is equal to A, A is equal to B, and B is equal to C. So it will change the file. So you can see that in Python, how easy to write a program compared to C++. Although, it is very, very useful, powerful language. Now, what are the advantages of Python? It is a platform independent. So, a uh, program written in any platform can be used in other platforms. Readability, the syntax is so easy that you can understand very easily. It is an object-oriented programming language. Since it's, it's, it has a very higher productivity, since the statements, you can write the programs in leisure number of statements that makes it, uh, the programs more uh, smaller. So, obviously, at the same time, you can write more programs compared to the other language. Less learning time, so it is very easy to learn a language. In my life of uh, 20 years career as a teacher in computer science and teaching basically the computer languages, I find it more easy to teach. Uh, students can learn the things more easily compared to other languages because the syntax is very very simple and uh, <coughs> and although it's a uh, very simple but it is also very strong language and uh, provides the facilities to do different types of things. GUI based it is a graphical user interface based programming language so graphical user interface related thing you can do that makes the application more user friendly. We have a large set of library for so the ample possibility of library that makes the program writing more easy and syntax highlighted. 
some of the companies, the best companies, which are using Python as their main language, Facebook, Amazon, Google, Instagram, Netflix, Dropbox, Dropbox and Google. So these are the most uh, important companies in the proper world. They are using this Python. So there is the obviously there is a future of Python and Python is very very powerful language for doing different types of things from scientific applications, database applications to or simply uh, <coughs> text related applications. Thanks for watching my video. Kindly subscribe and like. This is the first video of Python series. Next video will be on getting started with Python. In that video, I will teach you installation of Python and how to write the Python program. What are the things in the programming language to learn before doing programming? Thank you.